Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome to another weekly update. I got weekly update number 89 for you guys, and wow, this week, well, not that much has been going on this week, but, um, actually a lot has, but, uh, it's been pretty busy, not so much Lego-wise, but quite a few things have still happened, so, let's get down to business here. Okay. Last update, told you guys nothing was going on with the Genosis mock. Nothing's really changed there. So, but actually, before I get on to talking more about the new series with the mock tips, I am going to possibly be going to the Lego store back in Ontario, uh, mainly because... Uh, my great-grandpa passed away, okay, I I'm not comfortable with the circumstances, me going down to L.A. Uh, this time, but, you know, while I'm there, that's the only trip I'm going to make to L.A. for a while, so I figure I might as well make the best of that. So if I have someone that is going to be able to drive me, I might be able to acquire some more brown plates and bricks overall so I can actually start working on the main structure for the new Geonosis mock. So that is one big thing about Geonosis that could find, that could be happening. So yeah, but that's the only thing that could be happening with Geonosis and that's not even a full on positive thing yet. And uh, that trip, if it happens, it's gonna be in a couple more weeks. So yeah, uh, rest in peace my grandpa grandpa. Well, that's what I called him. But uh, yeah, so now we move on to the mock tip series. Okay, guys, I have not had time again to talk with James today. It was sort of a mild busy day getting the beds for football settled and everything. Plus, San Francisco Giants, uh, them watching them win the World Series. That took up a little bit of my time as well, so I wasn't able to go on Skype and talk with them. But uh, hopefully I can finally get some time tomorrow and get caught up with a lot of the videos that I need to get caught up with and get this video out on the main channel finally so I can finally wreck this and um, put the clones back where they need to go and uh, put the 501st Legion uh, into their new setting for the Ambara mock. Now guys, uh, I told you guys and the last weekly update, yeah, I know that one was like only, it's only a day old, but really it is summarized what happened that past week with the FCMs. I decided now I'm no longer going to call them FCMs because the reason why I started the FCM series was because when I first started it, I had over 2,000 subscribers, at least 2,000 to 1,500 back on the XX Misery XX09 channel. And Basically, it was for the fans. You know, the fans voted. That's when I had a larger fan base of people to vote for what mocks they wanted me to do and showcase for them. Now, since I don't have that large fan base anymore, I figure, well, why not just revert back to the old Clone Wars mock series that I was doing? So, I'm doing that, but instead of original, you know, having the original mocks that I had planned to do in the larger Clone Wars mock series. I'm going to dumb it down to the more medium scale like this and the that kind of scale mocks. I'm not going to be doing any huge projects like that by myself because I know it's going to cost a lot of money and be a lot of time consuming if I were to put those out season by season by season, which is another change. Instead of doing the new mock series monthly, it's going to be based off seasonal. So. I could have 10 mocks in one season. So for this season, the upcoming season would be Ambara and the Republic Judiciary Detention Center Cafeteria and possibly a few others. This is across along the lines from fall to winter because it's barely the end of October, soon to be November. So that is a major possibility with that. But yeah. So, totally new series, no longer called FCM's Clone Wars Mock Series, and I just gave you guys a whole lot of info on that. So, yeah, that's it on there. Told you guys, mentioned to you guys just a few seconds ago about the San Francisco Giants. I was watching them. 
Well, guys, you guys know I'm a 49er fan, all right? And I, CJ, if you're watching this, man, forget you. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm in uh, Midnight Studios or Midnight Productions, whatever his thing was, or Forces Strong 29. Cowboys fan. Yeah, I'm not a real big fan of the Cowboys, I'm not going to lie. But, um, you know, they lost against the Giants, I'll admit it. We got murdered against them, but, you know, yeah. But we have a big game tomorrow. 49ers do against the Cardinals um, and the Car and the San Francisco Giants just won against the Arizona Cardinal uh, not Arizona Cardinals the uh, um, I'm not sure what baseball team the Cardinals were uh, what city they reside but we won against them and they won today against the Tigers so yes major plus hopefully the Niners can pull it off tomorrow and it'll be just a great weekend for me overall so yeah big Monday night game Giants won the World Series major Lee happy 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 so yeah but um now we move on to everything else droid and clone army still nothing there so i mean i had a chance to go out of the house and get the base plates and stuff not a real major sale on base plates so haven't really had the eligibility to go out and really a reason to go and buy the new base plates for this but basically everything is the same for the clone army and uh the droid army nothing new there so we move on to what was going on with this thing here just posted the bricks by the bay update today that was late i know but i've just placed that update today and i was supposed to place the order for the uh second remaining order for this thing there's two orders remaining i was supposed to place the first one today and then the second one would be placed in about a couple of weeks two weeks at most but I was supposed to place that order today. I had it all planned out. In that order, what it would have contained is basically all the pieces to finish out the pathway. Leading on from there, it's supposed to finish off the path from these all these pyramids here. And also finish off the sniper towers. And it would also... I forgot a couple of the other pieces that, that order in case. But those are the major ones. And... Uh, the only order that would come after that, parts-wise, would be the parts to finish off all of the snot detail on the pyramids. So, that is a major plus that I have that order have those orders planned out for this mock. And they're going to get that going really soon. And if you guys watch my Bricks by the Bay update, you guys would know that that mock, the Rishi zombie outbreak mock, I'm not going to have any Bricklink orders for that for the next couple of weeks. Not until I could get everything straightened out with this mock first and get everything going ASAP with that. So that is pretty much what's been going on with the Bricks by the Bay stuff. I just posted the update today, as I just mentioned to you guys. In that update, I told you guys everything about the convention, including the convention team and all the convention considerations, not just Bricks by the Bay. So I thought I'd just give you guys a little bit of that. And now let's take you guys to my bedroom where there are a bunch of other cooler things to mention and talk about. Alright guys, so here we are, second half of the weekly update. And uh, now we get down to some of the more cooler things that I need to mention to you guys. So, um, yeah, I already gave you guys all the info you need to know about the convention stuff. You guys already know that I received my Republic Customs order and my Minifix for You order containing quite a few pretty good customs that I need but um yeah so everything's the same with that nothing new has changed you know counting down the days till the new convention starts up I believe I'm not sure if I showed you guys this in the last weekly update I believe I did but there is the whole collection of series 3 minifigures that I obtained from Jeff my team member, one of my team members. He really didn't want them anymore. He could have cared less about them. But, yeah, so I got those now. And everything's good to go there. Uh, this sucks, guys. I missed the Clone Wars episodes two weeks in a row. Yeah, that sucks. I'm gonna have to probably catch up on them. I'm probably gonna go online after this and watch the new videos. Uh, the new Clone Wars videos while this video is uploading. So that's what I'm probably gonna be doing for the rest of the night. That and homework. So, yeah, that is a major thing. Missed that. Really upset that I missed that this morning because I totally forgot about it. 
but yeah so that is that i don't know if i mentioned this to you guys on this channel or not but i did reach 15,000 views on Flickr. so i am really really glad that that happened you know considering i do not have a pro account and i've been on there for about two years 15,000 is a great number for me you know for any Flickr person there are a couple people who have a pro account and have over 300 photos and who don't even have 15,000 views yet so you know getting that milestone is great I wish I could say the same thing for my mock pages account I'm still trying to get all of my older mocks uploaded on there because I haven't really started progress on any newer mocks and I'm really not going to post update pictures of the Yavin yeah, 4 bricks by the Bay Mock on mock pages. I just figure it'd be a waste of picture space on there. So, yeah, but go check out my mock pages account and my Flickr account if you guys have not checked that out yet. Um, now, vlogs. Vlogs are kind of kicking back up on track. So, that's really good. They're still daily. Haven't had to change the schedule yet. Uh, now, we talk about sponsorship orders. Mini fix for you. Okay, guys, my order from there, my next upcoming order is going to be basically on all of the Clone Army Customs Wave 2 weapons. And, um, you know, that is going to be a really nice order for me just so I'll be able to review all of those weapons. And I'm actually debating whether or not I'll just get some of the older weapons too to review those as well. Create a separate review of the Wave 1 weapons and Wave 2 weapons. So, that is a possible consideration for me, but that is most likely what my next Minifigs for You order is going to be. And uh, speaking of what I just got off Minifigs for You, the 501st Trooper, guys, I still need to review this figure. But um, stay tuned on this channel because hopefully the next video after this thing is uploaded, this video is uploaded, will probably be the video reviewing the promotional Darth Maul and the Minifigs for You. 501st Trooper. More than likely the reviews will be separate. I only put them in the setup together for the picture on Flickr, but you know, I am going to try to review this thing soon and get that posted up on the YouTube page. So that is it for that. Still need to get a chance to review this as well, but I'm probably going to review the Lego Star Wars sets first. Still need to put the Republic Starfighter set together. And possibly going to get the Palpatine's Arrest shortly later on in the month when it goes further on sale. Because it, it's 20% off at, tar at Toys R Us right now. I'm waiting for another sale so we could double slam that and I could get that thing for totally half off. So I'm going to see if that can happen. That's probably the only other 2012 set that I'll get before New Year's and everything. Still haven't gotten any Series 7 or 8 figures. The only Series figures I've gotten are the ones from Jeff, and they're the older figures. So I need to go out and get those. And uh, still awaiting to get that last order for the Bricks by the Bay parts, because that order is going to contain Black Widow. And as for the Hulk, I'm going to have to find another way to get him, because, you know, he's a pretty pricey figure. I'm not sure if that order is containing the Hulk and Black Widow. I think it is. So I'm going to have to look that back up. But that's the major info on that. And the Galactic Civil War prize is more incentive for me to go out and get that and get more Stormtroopers for that incentive as well. And get you guys updated on that. And uh, one last thing, guys. I'm talking with this guy on Flickr. He's talking about a major collab project. I cannot release any and all. Well, I can just tell you guys this. It's a massive collab project. I'm getting in on it as a, a strategist and contributing a couple of things i can't i can't say what exactly but it's going to be a huge massive scale mock and um it seems really really cool and actually guys after this i could be getting quite a few 501st troopers from this so you may see a huge huge freaking 501st legion from me later on in the future so just stay tuned for that Oh, and by the way, guys, I'm always looking for Phase 2 clones, custom or regular, doesn't matter, and also Jedi, Sith, droids, and anything else like that. So, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and sub, and I will see you guys in the next update. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Bye.